Whew, those doors are heavy. What's going on guys? Thanks for coming back and checking out the video. Well, I haven't had the Wrangler out in the garage quite a long time. Seems like I've been neg neglecting it. Because I've been neglecting it, it's got a couple things wrong with it. <laughs> Today's video is going to be on the brake booster. It's, uh, it's bad. And in this video, I'm going to give you a clear example of a bad brake booster. Uh, this is going to be a two-part video. In the next video, I'll show you how to replace it. It's a 2008 Wrangler. It's the same from 2008, 2011. Um, 12 and up is a little bit different, but it's basically the same thing. Um, but yeah, we'll get right into it. All right, so here's my 2008 Jeep Wrangler. It has 207,000 miles. Um, go over some components real quick to look at before we go inside the car and we verify that the booster is bad. So we have an ABS module here. We have some brake lines that run to your master cylinder. This is your reservoir. This is a level sensor here. That's gonna be your booster, this big round black thing, right? There's a check valve that's popped right into it and then you have a vacuum line that runs to your intake here. Okay, basically the, the way this booster works is for the same. In order to talk to an officer from law enforcement unit of Federal Reserve System, please press 1 and hold the line. Oh, I got a phone call from you guys saying that I got some legal problems or something like that. What's going on? Can I have your name so I can start with your file and see who called you up? It's uh, Lee Wang. Sorry, what is it? Lee, L E E Wang, W A N G. W A N G, alright, Lee. Let me try to pull up your file and see who called you. Okay, what's for a second? Okay. Well, if you're gonna call me and scam me, don't put me on hold. Cause I'm gonna hang up. I got a card. All right, yeah. Lee. Yeah. I believe that your full name is Young, right? Yeah, 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 Lee. And I believe that your age is 39, right? Yeah. All right. Make sure that I'm giving out the confidential address to the right person. Can you verify me with your home address along with your zip code? What are you doing? Hey, oh. I'm not talking with you. What is this behavior? Hey. Hey. Yeah. Talking to an officer, right? Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Anyways, I don't even know where I was. All right, so. <laughs> Anyways, you want to do a visual visual on your Jeep here to make sure you're gonna get your line hooked up. Uh, you're not leaking any fluid or anything like that. The lines aren't all bashed up and broken. Yada yada yada. We're gonna jump in the in the Jeep real quick and uh, show you how bad it is. So, all right, so my 2008 Wrangler, I'm gonna start it up. The video's gonna be kind of loud, but you're gonna need to listen for uh, a leaking noise when I hit the brake pedal. So under like normal brake conditions, you kind of, you know, you come down here and you hit the brake like this. It doesn't take very much to engage the brake, but check this out. I'm gonna push it in a little bit. Hopefully you can hear that. So when you push the pedal down like that, you can hear it constantly leaking, just shh, it's just leaking the vacuum out of the booster, because one of the rubber seals inside of it, it's bad. And if you hold the brake pedal down, it will get better as if it kind of sinks down into it, and it'll go back to kind of a normal feeling. But right there initially, the, the first bite or whatever, it's it's gonna, it's, the car's not gonna really, this, this one's not really stopping very good at all. It just kind of feels like if you had the car off. This feels like this, really. It's like actually pretty hard. It's actually pretty hard, so. Um, that's pretty much it with this video. <clears throat> Here's a little story I got for you uh, from me working in the dealership the last 10, 15 years. Um, 
Technicians, some technicians out there don't know how cars work, period, the end. It sounds crazy, it sounds retarded. But they don't know how cars work, and they don't know how that booster works, okay? Now, if you're watching this, you don't know how the booster works. Um, that's fine, because you're watching this video because you're trying to learn how the booster works. Or if that's what's wrong with your car. That's what YouTube's for. But if you're a technician, you should know how a booster works. The reason why I know this is because I've seen technicians sell boosters to customers when they come in and their complaint is, is that they have a spongy brake pedal. Okay. If your car has a spongy brake pedal, the booster is not the issue. Because the booster is actually supposed to make your pedal nice and soft okay and then when it goes bad uh, the pedal gets nice and hard so I've seen it a bunch of times and I've actually worked on some of these guys' cars where they're riding up boosters for a spongy brake pedal and I know it ain't gonna fix nothing and they sold it to the customer or whatever they don't know how it works they they assume they just don't know how it works the end all right so if you have a spongy brake pedal, your problem is going to be somewhere else. Okay, you need to look somewhere else, like the master cylinder, okay, like this guy here. These guys will go bad and they'll leak, and you'll have a crazy pedal. It'll go too far. It, it would just it'll be super soft. Now that could be one of like three or four different things. You could have a bad caliper. You could have a bad brake line. You could have air in the brake lines to make that pedal not work very good. You could have seized up calipers. There's, there's a lot of different things. You might not have any brake pads so your car doesn't stop. So you think that the, the pedal is just not doing anything, which it's not because you don't have any brake pads. So uh, That's just a little story. Um, just be careful out there because um, not all the technicians, technicians, not all the technicians know what in the world they're doing. It's kind of crazy. But the brake booster is designed to make the pedal nice and soft. Just remember that, okay? <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I hope it was very, very uh, useful in helping you diagnose your car, your Jeep. Uh, trying to figure out, if you're trying to figure out uh, if you have a bad brake booster or not, this is a really good example. So, hard pedal, you hear a noise constantly, um, it doesn't want to stop. Um, those are pretty much the symptoms. But on this guy here, you can just hear it just bleed out pretty much. In the next video, I'm going to show you exactly how to change that booster out. It's going to be a lot longer. Um, it's going to be a lot more detailed. If you're new to the channel, um, I got a lot of videos on the Wrangler that will show you exactly how to do a lot of the service on it, nut for nut. They're not the most exciting, they're very long, but they'll show you exactly how to repair your Wrangler, okay? So that's what the next video is gonna be like. That's why I wanted to kind of break it into two videos, okay? Because people's attention spans are pretty short, but if you need to do this repair, um, I'll show you how to do it um, the best I can, okay? Okay, so. Um, I was going to say video, uh, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications and as soon as I get that video up, it'll notify you like right away. Um, tell me what you think of this video um, down in the comment box below uh, and hit that thumbs up button. It really, really helps this video move up the list to get to other people and it helps me out a whole lot. It helps you out a whole lot. It helps everybody out a whole lot. So comments, um, thumbs up, subscribe, all that jazz and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Later. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. Later.